Patagonia founder Yvonne Chouinard is giving this company away, to planet Earth, he announced Wednesday. I never wanted to be a businessman, Chouinard wrote in an open letter announcing the transfer of his roughly $3 billion controlling stake in the company to a trust and a non-profit. It's a sentiment he's expressed time and time again, telling the Los Angeles Times in 1994, I can sit down one-on-one -on -one with the president of any company, anytime, anywhere, and convince them that growth is evil. Schwingard and his family transferred their voting stock to the newly established Patagonia Purpose Trust, which will ensure that Patagonia maintains its commitment to corporate responsibility and donating its profits. The rest of the company, about 98% of its shares, was donated to the Holdfast Collective, a non-profit organization that will receive all of the company's profits, roughly $100 million a year, and use them to fight climate change. This is one of those heart-stopping moments when the apparently impasse. The Ventura-based outdoor apparel company was founded on Schwingard's love of the great outdoors. He grew up in Burbank and took to climbing the Tehachapi Mountains in his teens, surfed along Highway 1, and eventually became a skilled rock climber who lived out of his car in the Yosemite Valley. In 1957, he started by creating his own line of reusable climbing spikes that were hammered into the rock. When he discovered his hardware was severely damaging the rock, he phased out of that business and introduced an alternative in 1972, and it quickly became a hit with climbers. In an early catalog, he espoused the importance of enjoying the wilderness while preserving it, leaving no trace behind. We have always considered Patagonia an experiment in doing business in unconventional ways, Schwingard wrote in his book Let My People Go Surfing. None of us were certain it was going to be successful, but we did know that we were not interested in doing business as usual. Over the decades, Patagonia has displayed a unique brand of corporate activism backed by its commitment to sustainability. In 2018, the company changed its mission statement to something plain and direct, Patagonia is in business to save our home planet. In more recent years, its environmental activism has extended directly into the political sphere as well. Elkington said the announcement was totally in character, yet still blew my socks off. Schwingard's move puts Patagonia light years ahead of other corporations aspiring to balance business interests and social responsibility, Elkington said. For me, Yvonne has always represented True North, Elkington said.